Hey guys, wanted to talk to you about the best way to be able to stuff your sleeping bag in specifically your compression sack. In this video, I'm actually using my hiking bike Eolus zero degree sleeping bag. So as you can see, pretty puffy, uh, puffy. And uh, at the end of the day, you ultimately just gotta be able to get all the air out um, and be able to compress it as low as possible. What you wanna do is be able to zip it all the way up so it's kind of staying together. And when you do start stuffing it in, you're not stuffing it from the middle uh, or anything like that or having any issues with your zipper um, having to be pulled once you're stuffing it in and allowing it to get caught and whatnot. So as you can see, first thing you want to do is go ahead and grab a handful and just start stuffing it that way. I personally just do it from the bottom, just kind of making it a little bit more sense. Um, as we are going to be stacking it in and allow the top hood to be the last thing that you enter in. So once you get a chance to get everything stuffed in for the most part, you've been able to um, fit the entire sleeping bag inside, it's going to be still a little bit um, spread out. But you'll notice, at least with most compression sacks, you at least have uh, this wire again I'm just using my example of the hiking bike and what it comes with so once you get a chance to do that you can ultimately be able to stuff it all in you're going to use your wire to be able to pull it back and again try and compress even further and once you are able to do that you're going to want to go ahead and start uh, applying the top part of the compression so you can actually get your straps down so you want to go ahead and ultimately just push it down as much as you can just to continue to get more air out um, again if you think about your sleeping bag kind of standing up straight but obviously bringing it down kind of like an accordion um, you want to be able to get it even as small as possible This is gonna work out great, and obviously when you're packing uh, for longer miles or hikes or things like that, you can definitely be able to fit it in into your backpack or your pack um, a lot smaller, be able to condense the size to allow you to have more packability and a little bit more space. Uh, but again, this is just kind of way that I get a chance to do it. Uh, feel free to leave some comments if you do it differently, or if there's maybe some suggestions and things that you have found that just make it a little bit better. All right, thanks for checking it out.